Jeez, look at that thing. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, I really don't want to fight this, but I think we got to. My gun is overheating. That's great. What am I gonna do? I gotta use a different gun on him? That is not what I would like to do. I'm gonna have to use some special abilities on this asshole. Uh, first thing I'm gonna use is, I guess, an adrenaline boost doesn't really work good with pistols. You can use, uh, shit. You can use warp, and you can use sabotage. I'm just gonna keep on loading on this guy. Oh shit, did I use the wrong thing? Oh yeah, I used adrenaline. I don't I don't even ever use adrenaline boost. I honestly have no idea what even adrenaline boost does. It just makes me run a little longer. Can I switch my guns yet? Go ahead and use uh Unity and heal you guys, and then I'm gonna put shield boost on for myself. Dude, this gun's always overheating. I can't even fucking use it. I'm gonna have to go back with my pistol. Everything's overheating. I really need my uh, assault rifle. Dude, his health hasn't even gone down. I think it was just his shields are the big thing. Let's go ahead and see what throw does on this guy. Watch out for those rockets, everyone. He, like hurting himself every time he shoots those rockets unless we were shooting at him I don't know man jeez he's driving around like a fucking frog we'll see if I can switch back to my other gun yet take this bad boy out and let's use overkill it doesn't work look at my gun The hell's wrong with it? Uh oh, must have must have took enough health to give us a cutscene. That wasn't my Normandy, was it? Oh man, motherfucker! There's my Normandy. Okay, make it sure. Oh, he's got his shields back. Damn you, Saren. My gun's not overheating anymore. Like it was. I don't know if that was a glitch or what that was. Let's see what we can use with this. Let's go with, uh... Damping. Jeez, I'm sorry about this. This is probably, probably be the most uh, sloppy fights. <laughs> Shit, where's that? Uh, I think Unity. No, which one is it? Immunity. Info. Which one is it that? There's. I thought there was one that would give all your skills back. 
Yeah, we'll put that one on for now. Maybe that's for them, I think they have one. I don't think I have that option. Dude, come on. Man, this guy's a bitch. I'm, I'm just glad I'm I'm living. Honestly, I'd hate to redo this. Come on. We almost got him. Dude, he's close. I don't even know where he's at now. Jumping around. Dude, this guy can't even hit me. What if we use stasis on this guy? No, this guy, he doesn't have stasis. There we go, we, we beat him, we got some experience for it. That fight took like, I don't know, seven minutes? Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. safe now. Where's the commander?
All right, and uh, I'm guessing uh, this is going to be the end of the game. I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure we're going to see uh, all of our decisions, and then it's just going to, bam, we'll be done. 25G. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. And 100G. Cool. To recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? <laughs> you must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Uh, is he going to say anything, or what is this? It might be the end of the game. I like the music. And that is it. That is the end of the game, guys. And, uh, well... It was longer than I expected, but uh, it was a very good game. At first, I uh, got it, and I thought it was a little weird, but I honestly, this is this game had such a great storyline. I, I fucking fell in love with 